So I have a deck of cards here, and, well, it's actually a very special deck of cards. Now, I know it looks normal from the front. I mean, it's everything you sort of expect to see in a deck of cards. We have all the different values, all the different suits, and nothing really jumps out as different here. Uh, but when you turn it over, you see that it is, in fact, special because each and every card actually comes from a different deck. So you can check these out if you want, but I love playing cards. Each one is kind of like a piece of art to me. All the intricate details and the designs that go into each card, they're all so unique to me. So what I did here is I went through cards that I've handpicked. Uh, I went through all 52 different decks that I own, and I picked out one card from each and sort of assembled this unique, very cool looking deck of cards here. So, we have a wide variety of selections on the backs, and of course we have all the values in a deck of cards that you'd expect on the fronts, right? So what can we do with a unique deck of cards like this? Well, I'm actually going to have you create your own playing card, but we're going to do this in a very unique way. You see, I don't want you to be influenced. Like, for example, uh, this dragon card might here. That might jump out to you, right? The same way, like, look, if I were to ask you to think of a card right now, odds are you're probably thinking of an ace, a queen, a seven, or a three. They're just common cards that people go to. And the same could be said with these cards right here. I mean, each one is very different with all these different unique back designs. Some may jump out to you, some might not. But I really don't want to influence you. So instead, we are going to use dice. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll the dice, and whatever number you land on, we're going to count down to the card at that position in the deck. And whatever card that is, we'll use that for the back design. And then we'll do that again for the value. So for example, if you were to roll a 2, we'd count 1, 2, and you'd have this uh, skull card right here. Okay? So give the dice a roll, and we have a 6. Now, would you like the six card from the top of the deck, or would you like to have the six card from the bottom? It's totally up to you. Top? Sure. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can confirm that there is no other card in this deck with that same back design, correct? Now here's the interesting thing, you rolled six, so had you said bottom, it would have been one, two, three, four, five, six. It would have been a total different card. Remember that. But you said top, and you rolled six, so we'll go with this card here. Now we'll do the same for a value. So give the dice a roll, and we have an eight. And if you want, you can roll again, but let's say they go for an eight. Now again, would you like the eighth card from the top, or do you want to go for the eighth card from the bottom? Let's say they go for the bottom this time. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The two of diamonds. And again, you can confirm there is no other two of diamonds in the deck. So had you said top, it would have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the queen of diamonds. Total different card. But today we ended up on the two of diamonds. Now that's interesting. You see, because this envelope has been on the table right here from the very start. And earlier today, I placed one playing card inside. And if you take a look, it's actually a perfect match. Nothing else in the envelope. And that is pretty impressive. All right, I know what you're thinking. Maybe I got lucky, right? I mean, the odds are only 1 in 52. But you also ended up on the two of diamonds. See, that's the crazy part. The odds of me getting the back right, that, you know, it could happen. I may have just gotten lucky. But if I were to get the back and the value correct, that double prediction, the odds jump to 1 in over 2,700. I'd say that's a miracle. And sometimes miracles can happen. An absolute perfect match could have been any other card. It could have been this way. You chose the two, you chose the design, and that, my friends, is fortuity.